we're back and you're back for part two of for got a weekend at all over sandbar and if you didn't see part one you better go check it out because you missed a lot of fun in the sun we got to hang out with our boating friends and met some pretty cool ones wait 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 we got the real regatta people yeah and we had a great time and took a bunch of pictures but then we got hungry and you know what time it was? Yup, the best time in the world, Sasha's time. And there is no better place to do a barbecue. On the water, on the boat, with friends. But we weren't the only ones having fun on Morgata weekend at the sandbar. There was plenty of people doing the same thing. Now we're back where we left off hanging out on the boat after lunch in the late afternoon or I don't know if you want to call it early evening because it is around 5 30 in the afternoon and that's about the time that my friend Alain started to head out because he came from down south but the rest of our boating friends stayed So I just found out we got a birthday in the group and look at this, I think this guy had too much fun at the sandbar. Or maybe he's just taking a little break to restore his energy and keep going. We shouldn't take it no more. And now we're going to take advantage since everybody's relaxing and sing happy birthday to the birthday girl. <laughs> What is that guy that's dead and they push him around? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the movie. Yeah. Hey, what's that movie? They push the tech guy around. Bernie's the. Bernie's. Yeah, we can have Bernie's. Bernie's the. Bernie's Ogita! Closer! Dale, empiecen! Ready? Uh, ready? So look at that, we got to sing happy birthday to the birthday lady and we got to dance their native 
happy birthday song from Venezuela. And now we're just chillaxing around the boat, around the mat on the late afternoon because right now, for me, is the best time to be in the water and you can almost feel the sun starting to set. But I guess Ricky and his crew are not gonna watch the sun set and they're gonna start heading out. But me and the other boat, we're gonna stay behind and enjoy the beautiful golden color that the sun is giving over the horizon. I guess a little bump to say goodbye but no harm was done and that was caused because the wind started to pick up and you know why because mother nature decided to get us wet and this guy here he got caught by the rain and the bar i think he got a little bit too close to the shallow part and definitely he was getting wet from the top and now from the bottom and while some avoided the rain and tried to leave, others stayed and made the best of it. But I wasn't too worried because I was looking at my watch and I said within 10 minutes, you'll see, this will stop. And just like I predicted it, it started to slow down and clear up once again. And this reminded me when I was younger and I used to play in the rain. And how about that? Yesterday, I got caught in the rain in Fort Myers. And today, I got caught in the rain here in Miami. But no yesterday or today is gonna stop us from having fun here at the bar and just like us there's plenty of other boaters here doing the same thing having fun in the rain and i thought i was having fun look at these guys they're really enjoying themselves no matter rain or shine <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. So you see, it's not up to the weather to choose if you're gonna have fun or not. It's up to you to deal with each situation that gets thrown out at you and choose to make the best of it. And here's one of those moments where Mother Nature can take from you or give you back. And right now she's giving us a beautiful golden sunset. And I'm really glad I'm here to witness it and share it with you guys. And while we were here enjoying this beautiful golden sunset, I get a text and it's my friend Doobie. And he says, if I wanted to come over and join his friends, that they were also celebrating a birthday party on the boat. And they were only a few hundred feet away. So we picked up anchor and headed over. And when I woke up this morning and got here at 9.30 in the morning, I never thought I was gonna experience the water so clear that it felt like I was at the Bahamas. Met so many great people and viewed a, such a beautiful sunset and now it's 7 30 in the evening and we're still here having a great time with some more great people i guess the lesson for today is enjoy each moment as they come because you never know when you get another chance and talking about chance this reminds me the other day i was inside Publix, and a lady goes up to me and says wait a minute i know you are you that guy from fresco channel and i start laughing and i say yes she goes it's funny because my husband tries to hide from me to watch your videos. But as soon as I hear your intro music, I scream at him. Hey, are you watching Fresco Channel again? And she says she catches him every time. And that made me laugh even more. And I decided to share this story with you guys. But enough of the stories and let's go back and hanging out here with Doobies and his friends. Sunset party.
I guess today is full of surprises because Ogita pulled out a tequila bottle and it's time to have some what? Shots, shots, shots. And if the beat sounds familiar, yep, we're rocking to Sandbar Life, the song, but the instrumental. But if you want to listen to the whole full song, you can check it out on any digital platform. Just type out Fresco Channel, Sandbar Life. Look at this, I guess it's gonna be a happy night because this is her second shot and I bet you you won't believe what Ogita likes the best about the shots. It's not the actual liquor, it's the lemon. And I guess the standby party never stops and it started at the bar and went it up next to the bar and I think this is the latest I've been at Hallover Sand Bar because right now it's about almost 9 o'clock and remember today is Sunday so some people work the kids go to school but us we're still here and the question is how much longer we're gonna stay because the longer we stay the harder it is to get up in the morning I guess the better idea is to do this Saturday night like that when we stay up too late we don't have to worry about Sunday Sunday will be the rest day guys it's been a great weekend i started off saturday over on the west coast that we went to go see a boat race that i haven't been to one over 15 years so i felt good to look at it again even though we got faced with bad weather but it only lasted about 20 minutes like usual and if you want to see that video i'm going to leave a link on the description below and then on sunday we woke up early a miracle got to the sandbar and we got blessed with crystal clear waters but we got faced with one of the kink ties because the sand never came out but that didn't stop us from having a good time and today we met a lot of great people with the Vagata spirit and look at this we celebrated today two birthdays one of Ricky's friends and one of Doobie's friends and now it's about 9 30 at night and I think we're gonna get going because if not we're never gonna get up in the morning especially with the kids because they have school and let me ask you guys a question have you been to Hallover Sandbar and if you have did you have fun or would you do it again we will every chance we get so see you guys next time out in the water <laughs>